In this video we're going to show you how to remove the door lock assembly from a Mark II TIG-1. Tools you'll need for the job, a T20 Torx, a T30 Torx, an M6 spline, a 10mm spanner, a selection of trim tools and a flat screwdriver. We're going to remove this cover on the handle to get access to the bolts. Just on the inside of it there, there's a small slot. You can just get your trim tool in, just push it in, just widen that gap out. As it starts to pop away, just work around using your trim tool. That'll expose the bolt that you need to undo. There's two T30s, there's one there and there's one in that hole there. And do both of those. The last fixing to remove is on the underside, there's a little gap there, you can just see that fixing there. So all you need to do, you don't need to remove it, you just need to get your spanner on and just turn it 90 degrees. And you'll see now the fixing will just line up with the gap in the panel so when you pull the panel off you can see there it'll just it'll slide past it now using a wider trim tool get in the gap in the bottom corner just work your way around popping the clips off Now it's ready to remove, it should just be swinging along the top edge. Now to remove the door card, starting at one end, just pop it up off the door. And that will come away. And there's a couple of things to undo before you can remove it. The first one is the door handle cable here. So just pull this little lever back and that allows you to just swing that out of the way. It's just hooked in again at the front there, that will come off. And the wiring, there's two plugs here on the door module. First one, just push a little tab in, swing the arm over. As you swing the arm over, the plug will just come out. And then this other one here, the little tab pushes in, but before you can push it in, you've just got to pop the little red bit out the way, then push that in. And that's the door car removed. So now we want to remove this panel here so we can get access to the window glass. Just pop that in, push the grommet through, so it's loose and the wiring is just hooked in round there. And using a trim tool, we want to take this panel out, it's just sort of hooked in around the edge on the bead. Once you get it started and get one part over, just work your way around. It gets a bit easier as it comes out. Just feed that through. So to remove the door lock, I'm going to take this off first and remove the barrel. So we'll pop that off, it's just a little rubber cover. And you'll see behind there, it's a T20. So you want to undo that. But as you undo it, you also want to keep it pushed in. Don't undo it all the way. That'll do it. And then the door lock, you'll notice it is loose. But you've got to push that in keep that pushed in while you release it, otherwise it just won't go. So 
sometimes you just have to wind it a little bit further just to get it right. There you go. If you just look in there, you can sort of see just look in. If you look straight on there, you can see as I'm pushing that in, it's that bar swinging across there. That's where you've got to make sure it's, it's pushed in to release the lock. So to remove the lock, undo the wiring first, just push the little tab in and pull the plug out. And it's the two M6 bolts there on the back of the door, undo both of those. When you're undoing the second bolt, just support the lock on the inside of your hand so it doesn't fall into the door. And pull the lock through the gap there on the inside. The cable that runs to the interior handle can stay with it. And this one here, just pop that little flap up so you can see where the cable attaches. And then that little, that there just flicks anti-clockwise just until that bar goes 90 degrees, lines up comes out and then that just unhooks out of there and that's the lock removed.